Hot Sands. Today we're going to be working on the camper and what we're gonna do is this uh, EPDM rubber roof coating system. And uh, it's what you wanna do when your roof gets, I don't know, eight, 10, 12 years old. Uh, we'll climb up in a moment and have a look. And uh, I'm not gonna go into uh, all the how to's. What I'm gonna focus on mainly is tips and tricks. So as you can see, I've wrapped the camper in plastic. So my first tip is, so this is a 0.7 mil plastic, and this is a one mil. Uh, the one mil is actually a lot easier to work with. Second tip is uh, the 3M tape. Now this is a, a full one inch wide tape, and I've used that in the manufacturer on their video. They do a, uh, uh, I guess it's about a quarter inch frog tape. And uh, if, if uh, you're the type of person who uh, you know wants to skimp and I don't want to use all my tape and wasteful on plastic, blah, blah, blah. This is not the project for you because as you can see, I've used almost a whole roll of tape. And uh, so let's, oh, the other thing, uh, brushes. That's what I'm gonna trim in with. So let's climb up and have a look. Up, 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 up. So as you can see, my roof is not in terrible shape. But it is 10 years old and we're about to take a trip to uh, Key West. It's going to be hot, so uh, I might want to make sure my air conditioner isn't overtaxed. And supposedly, uh, obviously you're gonna uh, restore the roof, but one of the benefits in doing that is uh, about a 20% savings in, in uh, efficiency with your air conditioning. So some other tips on your seams. You want to tape it all the way. I started taping, you know, here, there, just kind of spot taping it. Didn't work. Any amount of breeze is going to tear that apart. So you'll want to go full tape, top to bottom. And then uh, this is a 22 foot camper. And I've got about, I've got five rolls of uh, uh, plastic sheeting in it. Uh, two, no, actually I've got six. I've got two on each side and one front and back. So another tip there, on that plastic, easier to uh, unfurl it here and then take it up and start tacking it along. And uh, so that's another tip. You'll see that I didn't just tack it. Like I went full on, I went full on edge to edge, taping it up. And as you can see, very light breeze today, but it's, it's still picking up a lot of wind. So I gotta keep an eye on that. And uh, Last thing is zero percent, zero percent chance of rain today, but uh, get a little nervous. Uh, hopefully, it's going to hold out, and uh, this is a project that you will have to complete in one day. So I'm going to get going, and I'll check in later with some other tips. Okay, so I've applied the cleaner activator, and uh, as you can see here, this is supposed to cover 125 square feet. I have two bottles. That's 250 square feet. And, uh, you know, you want to subtract for, there's a vent behind there, air conditioner, the uh, stove vent, TV antenna, and you may have, you know, another air conditioner or something like that. So you can subtract those, that little bit. But uh, for the most part, I felt like I was really, well, I mean, it's, it's covered definitely, but I felt like I was really skimping by. So uh, anyway, I have a good sprayer, had a good strong nozzle. So man, I had the thing sprayed and coated in like, I don't know, probably like three minutes. Uh, so anyway, I think it's fully coated enough to where it's actually coming down the, uh, the drain here and dripping off. So let that set for 15 minutes and I'll be ready to pressure wash. So here's another tip for you. As you can see my AC cover and this vent over here and the vent back there, all looking kind of skanky and mildewy. And uh, since I'm gonna make the roof all nice and pretty, uh, I'm also going to put some mold armor on this and get it cleaned up and uh, just spray it right before I start pressure washing. And uh, I've used this on the on the uh, LP tank covers in the front and it did an amazing job. So I just wanted to do a documentation before and after and I'll catch this again at the end. So hopefully you can hear me over the pressure washer. I started pressure washing after letting the uh, activator set for 15 minutes. You can see a definite clear line. And, uh, you know, this is kind of like a uh, word of warning here. It's uh, like uh, Bon Jovi, you know, it's uh, slippery when wet. So 
be careful up there and uh, i'm going to keep going and check back in later oh one other tip if you're considering not covering the side of your camper uh don't consider that it makes a huge mess and you'll be glad uh, you didn't get any of this stuff on the side of your camper So I'm done pressure washing, let's have a look. One tip I wanted to give you is uh, if your roof is like mine, where it comes over this edge and folds under this, uh, this channel rail right here, which is uh, your gutters, uh, I noticed a, a great deal of scum uh, around that edge. So that's one of the places I'm going to start uh, when I actually start putting the coating on the roof. I'm gonna do these edges all the way around, just like I'm painting a room. And uh, you might also want to, uh, and not too closely, but you might also want to start here with your pressure washing. Do these edges because it blows up there. Uh, so <clears throat> I did that second and I had to come back and uh, pressure wash the roof again because it blew a bunch of crap onto the roof. So as you can see, the cleaner activator uh, revealed a lot of spots. So, oh yeah, and then also, look at that. Oh my gosh, that looks new. Uh, that's from the uh, mold armor I put on there and washed off. Hopefully you can see the vent back there. I mean, everything looks new. So I get this roof done. It'll be a new looking camper for sure. So let that dry and go, go uh, grab a sandwich and uh, then we'll come back and uh, start painting. So I had second thoughts and maybe this is a tip. I think I'm going to go ahead and take all the plastic off and, and uh, pressure wash the camper and uh, just make sure no cleaner activator uh, got on the finish. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna have to be super careful and actually start putting the uh, putting the roof on. And uh, But yeah, it makes me a little nervous that cleaner activator might be under my plastic sheeting here. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take it off and uh, I'll let you know if uh, it was a, a worry that uh, I made up in my head or not. So I think I made the right decision by go ahead and taking the plastic off. As you can see, it leaked a little here. And uh, all you have to do is look at the concrete and uh, you know, some on, some on the wheels. Maybe that's a little bit right there. And uh, especially noticeable back here on the bumper. So I'm glad I did that. I'm gonna take a few minutes to pressure wash and uh, just make sure all that uh, cleaner activator is off. And that may just be simply uh, residue from the decomposing roof. But nevertheless, Try to take care of it, keep it shiny and happy. So one thing I wanted to note here, and shout out to the Dicor people. I mean, I paid for a gallon, and what do I get? I get like seven eighths of a gallon. So anyway, not real pleased with that. I'm hoping to uh, open the second one over here. It's gonna be, it's gonna be actually full, but that's that's a disappointment. And uh, I mean, again, you pay for a gallon, you want to get a gallon. So I'm at the point where I'm actually cutting in, and again, it's just like painting a room. And uh, one of the tips I wanted to point out was, uh, and I pointed this edge out before, if I just roll that, it's not gonna get uh, the uh, uh, rubber roofing coating system. It's not gonna get it along this edge. So you can see where I've done that and where I haven't done it. And so I'm gonna do this twice. Make sure that it's very well sealed up. So I've cut everything in twice, all around the edges, all around the air conditioning and vents and whatnot. And uh, so I'm on my first coat and you can see a dramatic difference. So I'll give you one tip in the manufacturer's video. Uh, they use a pole and a roller. Uh, I found it much easier immediately to just be down on my hands and knees and rolling it. I felt like I had a lot more control that way. But tailgate talk fans, I am really pleased with how this roof turned out. Again, I have a 22 foot camper and I uh, had uh, two bottles of the uh, prep, the, uh, the wash, and uh, two gallons of the, uh, the roof coating. And uh, I ended up with about an eighth of a gallon left over. And I think it turned out pretty spectacular. So uh, hopefully you learned something. And uh, probably the last tip I'd have for you, I wish I would have uh, uh, wrapped up my uh, air conditioner there in plastic. Uh, no big deal. It's uh, acrylic paint and I should be able to get those little little uh, mistakes there I made. Get those off. And uh, so anyway, uh, the products I use today are linked below. 
So check those out and uh, good luck to you. And uh, if you have any tips, post those below too. Love to hear from you. And like, subscribe, hit that bell and all those things that uh, make me famous. Thank you.